Hey guys, happy summer. If it's hot where you are, I mean, just know that I feel your pain. It is hot where I am too. And I guess, so it came to my mind earlier today and I felt bad that I have not mentioned this in a video, but if you have been impacted by any of the natural disasters that have been happening over the past few weeks, please know that I'm praying for you. I am so very sorry that you're having to go through this. I just, I see the headlines on the news and my heart goes out to everybody who has suffered from, who has just been impacted by these tornadoes, flooding. It just seems like so much. So I, I my thoughts and prayers do go out to you and your family. Um, but I do know here in South Texas, it is super hot. Summer is now in full swing. So... That was total, like not even applicable to what this video is going to be. But today's video is going to be all about the skincare products that have absolutely changed up my game, my skincare game. My face has been, every single day, has been nothing but amazing. And I, I'm not saying that to brag, like, oh, I have the best skin. No, because I don't. I am like everybody else and I have my struggles from time to time and I have found some products that have just worked for me. And so while today isn't really going to be a full on um, like skincare routine, I am planning on doing that here in the near future. This is just relaying to you which products have been totally working for me and that way if you want to go to if you've been struggling or if you've kind of wanted to get your skin back in order you can go to Sephora and get some samples of these and see if they work for you so if you're interested in seeing what products have been work working for me and why then just keep on watching all this so first and foremost let's go ahead and go into the serum so the glow recipe pineapple sea bright serum this has been my favorite serum of life it is a very thick it's not very thick, I shouldn't say that. It's a thicker serum. I'm used to serums being lightweight and you know, you kind of need a little more product to be able to cover all of the ground on your face. And so this I have found to be very different from all of that. Um, it does have a pineapple scent, so if you are uber sensitive to smells, know that. Also know that Kathleen Light says that when she puts it on, it smells like dog pee on her face. So I have not experienced that. I'm grateful for that. I do smell the hint of pineapple. So just know there is a scent, but it's not absolutely clear. Um, it does have a little bit of a yellow cloudiness to it. Um, but this is about how much I use. I take it and I drop one on my forehead, one on each cheek, and that is enough to cover my whole face. So what I do is I kind of smooth and pat that all over my skin, let it sink in for, you know, a few seconds, not long at all. And then I go into, and this is at night, by the way, then I go into a miracle of a product, you guys. This is like a miracle in a jar. The Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask by Youth to the People. This thing is so unassuming, like it doesn't look like much in the jar, really. Like it's super simple, not that simple is bad, but like you wouldn't think this was going to be super amazing. There's nothing that really attracts me to this product packaging wise, but it used to sell out every time it would come back into stock on Sephora's website. And at that point, and because it's had five stars, I was like, I need to figure out what all the hype is about on this. I went to Sephora, I picked up a little sample. I liked it quite a bit. And I thought, next time there's a sale, I will pick one of these up, and I did. And I never looked back. This is a very rich product, so honestly, it may seem pricey. It is $49, um, but honestly, I'm not, even, I'm not even down a fourth of the jar, and I have been using it every not that's a lie not every single day I'm sorry because you'll see why here in a second but most days like six days out of the week um, since I purchased it at the end of April so it is a very rich product a little bit goes a very long way um, it does say it's maki and vitamin C vitamin C is really good for your skin squalane hyaluronic acid so it also says it's for all skin types and this has been such a game changer. So my night routine, six days, six nights out of the week, is this and this. And here in a while, I'll zoom you into my face so that you can see my skin a little more up close. Um, but let me move you on to what I use after those two. It may seem like a lot. 
I don't use this every single day. I pretty much use it every other day because it is very strong. It's very potent. It's the Glam Glow Super Toner, Exfoliating Acid Solution. This thing is beyond cleansing. Like if you go in with your makeup melting balm, you go in with your liquid cleanser. If you go in with this by once all that is said and done, this will still find makeup to remove. It's crazy because my little like Shiseido cotton pad will still have makeup on after I use this. And I'm like, I thought I got it all. Anyways, but the reason I say that is because this thing is so deep cleaning that even your pores, it's almost like the pores shrink and it's like a super slick, shiny, blank canvas. My skin never feels cleaner than when I use this. It also smells very strong of peppermint. So if either you don't like peppermint or you're very sensitive to smells, you need to know this is the strongest peppermint scent I have ever smelled. It almost, like, it will make me cough from time to time. The first time I used it and I put it on, I was like, <coughs> nothing has ever made me do that before. But just know it does that. But the end result, like, the cleanliness of my skin um, is so, so amazing. And the thought that just came to my mind was, did I say I use this after using this? I'm sorry, I'm having a total squirrel moment. Obviously, this goes with cleansing, and then this comes after. So, I thought I'd better straighten that out. When I edit this, I'm gonna be like, hi, Michelle, you're such a, you know, you have such squirrel moments. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, this, as part of my cleansing routine, game changer. As far as my cleansers, my makeup um, melting balm, I've been using the Pond's makeup melting balm from Walmart for 10 bucks. I have been also using like a couple of different cleanser, drugstore cleansers that I have been liking very much. It's the Clean and Clear Lemon Cleanser. And then I also will sometimes use the Aveeno Micellar Gel Cleanser. I can't remember what it's called. Both of those seem to work very, very well for me. I will also tell you that once or twice a week, I will also use, I have a little um, squeezy tubey of the Exfolicate um, cleanser that my mom tried, didn't like for her skin type, and she moved it onto me. And I actually love that thing. So next time there's a sale, I'm picking up the full size of that. Um, but just know that I don't use anything special for my makeup melting balm or my cleanser. This is the special part of my cleansing time phase, whatever, you know what I mean. Next up, I'm going to show you something that I use once a week that I do also think has been a game changer in my skin looking the way it does. Um, and that, I know it's expensive, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, it's the Drunk Elephant. This is the only Drunk Elephant product I have ever purchased. It's the TLC Sukari Baby Facial um, Resurface and Reveal, I guess, like, mask. It's got 25% AHA, which I think is the biggest part of this product, and then 2% BHA. So I'm going to read to you the description just because this was very new to me during the sale. I picked it up because I was watching somebody else's haul. You know, you guys know how that goes. Um, and she said it was a game changer for her, and I was like, mm, I've really been wanting to do that facial where it sucks the stuff out of your skin and you see all the floaties in the water. Sephora now does that. Some Sephoras now do that. If you um, have a $75 purchase, you can do that facial at the store that same day. Um, but since I wasn't able to do that, I picked this up, and I have been using it once a week. That's all it recommends, and that's all I would recommend. It's very, very... I don't know if abrasive is the word, but it's it's rough. It says, this next generation mask is an at-home facial that effectively yet gently exfoliates the pore lining and gets rid of dead skin cells. With a whopping 25% AHA, 2% BHA blend of our dream team glycolic, tartaric, lactic, citric, and salicylic acids, this pro-quality formula dramatically smooths texture and reveals a radiant baby soft complexion. It says use once weekly, apply an even layer, do 20 minutes, rinse thoroughly, and then you can follow it immediately with their virgin marula oil, which you do get a little tiny tubey of it when you purchase this. So 20 minutes is what I leave it for. Some people do less than that because it does tingle, almost burns a little bit. 
not burns to where I feel like it's burning off my skin. It just, it has that sensation where it's tingling, like you know it's doing something. And 20 minutes is the highest suggested use. That's what I do. I've heard people say they will do 10 minutes or so to kind of gradually build up to the 20. I went in hard and I went in 20 minutes the first time. But this thing leaves your skin so smooth at the end <laughs> of its of your use that like you can tell it has removed any kind of impurities, dead, I don't know if impurities, but dead skin cells, like any layer that was just on there that needed to come off, this is gonna take it off. Now again, it's not cheap, I think it's normally 80. I purchased it during the sale because I knew I would, didn't wanna pay $80 for one product. Let's just say I am really glad I did because I think this is playing a part in why my skin is looking so good. I think regularly removing those dead skin, dead skin cells are making a huge difference. Now, I'm pretty sure there's dupes for this out there. You just need to look. Um, but bomb, you guys, bomb in my skincare routine. I don't feel like you need to use this. However, I like how moisturizing it is. So what I do is I use it after this. It's the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I picked up the travel size, which is the one ounce, because I didn't want to pay $50 for the mask. And so I picked up the, like, deluxe travel size at the one ounce for $25. And so given that I'm only using it once a week, I think it's totally fine and I'm glad I picked up this smaller size. But this one gives you such a boost of hydration because jet lag mask, like you know how when you go on an airplane, like your skin is sucked of its moisture. So because this does leave you so, I don't wanna say dry, but like it really has resurfaced your skin. I go in with this just to kind of help replenish that. Um, I don't feel like this has been as much of a game changer for me. However, I'm including it just because it is what I use as this part of the routine. So just know um, that, you know, really any kind of mask or overnight cream that's rich in moisture, um, even like a little thick will do the trick. But lastly, you guys, the product that I use, and you are going to see this later on this week because I, I do have, or I am going to have a video, um, in which we do a no foundation makeup routine because a lot of y'all asked for that. What I use to just doify my skin and make it look super glowy in the mornings to add to that moisture is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I was never a fan of the spray, however, this the cream really has been, I keep on saying a game changer, but all of this stuff really has. This thing will make my skin look dewy from morning when I apply it to evening, like once, you know, my day is over. This is so good, and once I put this on, like the texture allows other products I put on, like if I were to just put blush and highlight over top of this, it adheres so well just because of the dewy texture or the dewy finish but this makes my skin i feel like all of the other products give me the canvas for something like this to just give it that finished luminosity and i know you guys i know tatcha is a luxury product but this cream legit has been worth every penny and i did pick it up during the sale that's really the time to pick up these types of products but this has really been so great. And it's very, very rich, so you don't need to go in with a whole lot of product. Just so that you have an idea, I have been using this since I purchased it end of April. Now, not every day because there are days in which I wear foundation, but even let's just say a couple of times a week over the course of the last six or seven weeks. And look how, like, haven't even hardly made a dent because it's so rich you don't need a lot so I foresee myself having this jar of product for quite some time and again this would be a repurchase for me I love this product it really just does something for my skin as like that cherry on top everything else lays the groundwork and this just gives that finished product. So this one, definitely an essential part of my skincare routine, especially if I'm not wearing foundation. Now I will tell you a good dupe for this product and I will show you this in the video that I will post on Friday, um, but the Tarte First Step Prep Moisture Reset Cream, I think that's what it's called from Ulta, I feel like is a very good second to this. This, I would tell you, is the best of the best. But if you want a good dupe, 
um, that is half the price because I think the Tarte one is about $35 then that one is amazing as well. It's very rich. It leaves your skin looking very healthy. This one does say it's the dewy skin cream, so it's going to give you a very dewy look. The other one's going to give you a very moisturized, healthy look. And again, I would say if you're opting out on this one, check the other one out. I would highly, highly recommend that as well. So guys, that brings us to the end of the skincare products that have been game changers for me that have just taken my skin to the next level. And I never thought I had issues with my skin. I really haven't had issues. But then when your skin starts to be almost like the best thing ever, every single day, and then you're like, is this too good to be true? What am I doing right? You know? <laughs> then you just realize, wow, these things are so good. So just a few things to remember. So one, I will be posting an actual like skincare routine. Just come with me as I, you know, get ready for the evening kind of thing. Um, but first off, I know there's not a lot of products here, but they are a lot of high, t there are some high ticket items because of the quality of the product. So I would say a couple of things. Um, first off is that it's an investment. Your skin, you need to be taking care of it because you want it to look good for as long as possible. I don't do like the fillers and things like that. That's something I will never do. One time I brought up lip filler to my husband and he was like, absolutely not. And so, um, you know, to me, this is my spa or this is my, you know, instead of me going to get a, anything done, no, I'm just going to take care of my skin with a few pricier items, but these are going to last me a long time. Like no joke, these will last me probably eight months to a year. Okay. So let me zoom you guys in real quick before I let you go. And that way you can see my skin up close. Now I am wearing foundation today later on in the week when I post my makeup tutorial, like no foundation makeup tutorial, you'll be able to see my skin literally with no foundation as well. But just so that you can see what it looks like, and I don't know, perhaps it looks no different to you now than it did back then, I don't know. Um, but I know that I sure see a difference. Let me zoom you out just a little bit so that you can kind of catch my whole face, <laughs> but I mean literally, my highlight is popping today, <laughs> but literally just smooth, easy, I mean, a perfect, no one's skin is perfect, but <laughs> this is what it looks like up close, you guys. All so. right, guys, well, I hope you found this helpful. This was, like I said before, just a, um, just to show you what products really have been my routine working for me. Um, but here very soon I'm going to film an actual skincare routine um, so that you can see these products in action, see how I use them, and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help you as well. Before I let you go, I need to give you the verse of the day just to tell you that Jesus loves you. I know we live in a very chaotic and ridiculously crazy world, but at the end of the day, there is peace and comfort in Christ's arms. I know I just would not, I would be so lost if I didn't have him. And so um, if you don't want to listen, you're more than you're more than free to click off of this video here and now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today's comes from Psalm 51 10 and it says, create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Thanks guys for watching. I hope you'll consider subscribing if you are new and giving this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. I love each and every one of you and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. See you soon. Bye.